Hey folks, appreciate you stopping back by. Kev with Kev's Can Cave. I'm here today to review the original Decker. Comes in two different, or <laughs> comes in separate bags for standard metric heavy duty bags. If you wanna throw it back in there, you can. Of course, uh, most people with these cables here, just hand them or uh, hang them off their toolbox, hang them from wherever you want. They're all yours. Anyway, uh, pretty impressed, just right straight out of the bag, the heaviness of them. These aren't no cheapos. Uh, the stamps on them, I'm kind of big on stamps, aren't super, super great on the standard. Of course, you can read them really well with the white on black on the metric. I did try to rub uh, lacquer thinner and mineral spirits. I rubbed hard on both these and the stuff didn't come off. So that kind of impressed me because I know some people are like, well, does that stuff rub off? Because I get junk all over my, all my tools. But anyway, I, I couldn't get it to rub off. I'm not, I don't know what they coated it with, but uh, the standards, it's a, it's a 32 inch stringer, if you will, cable stringer that you can hang up. And they come 23, there's 23 different sizes on the standard. There's 21 on the metric. Standard go from number six, uh, number 640, all the way to one inch number eight. And the metric go from M3 0 0.5, all the way up to a little less than an inch. I'd say, probably call it uh, uh, seven eighths is an M24 3.0. I'll be the first to admit, I'm not super familiar with metric. Just, it's just, it's just what you know, people. If you work with it, I'm sure you are. Uh, but what I like about having both of these, because you can buy a half a stringer of the most popular sizes. You can buy a stringer of half standard, half metric. But I went ahead and decided to buy for about 50 bucks. Yeah, not cheap, but very well worth it. Uh, both sets. And you can just do all the checking you want to do. I got a whole tub full of nuts and bolts I'll probably go through someday. But just say, for example, this uh, beer tap, if you want to find out what kind of threads you got in there, uh, I'm going to call it standard. And Three H twenty four don't quite work. I think I'm in the ballpark here. Where's that other one? There we go. <laughs> Three. I even rehearsed that one. It didn't work out too good. Three H sixteen. It is. And uh, like I said, the stamps aren't super good on them, but you can read them. I put this white paper here to kind of help out. Another thing I thought was pretty neat about it is if you had an old tap that you couldn't read, a lot of them get hard to read. These are great and easy to read. But if you got one that's kind of hard to read, you can ever so carefully, because I know the threads are good on these, take it in there. And as you can tell, that's a one inch, eight threads per inch tap. That's kind of cool. But uh, where I thought having the standard and metric pays off, <clears throat> excuse me, is you can take a bolt like this. Let me see. You can see it's a 5 16. So, and I, and I couldn't really read. It's, it's boogered up. It's super old. So I went to my standards and my choices on 5 16 are a 24 thread, which it barely made it in there, and a 5 16 coarse thread, 18. So then I got thinking, okay, this is probably metric. So you can go to your metric stringer. There we go. You can tell I got these marked. I'm not very good at this stuff, but I got thinking, there we go. It's an M8 1.25 as opposed to an M8 
So what that tells me, learning a little bit about metrics here, is because it goes because metrics are measured from thread to thread instead of threads per inch. This actually is considered a coarse thread in metric. And because these threads are only 1.0 apart, that's the fine thread. So I've got an M8125 coarse threaded bolt, even though this bolt, when measured, uh, when measured on even the finest thread of the 5 16 which I know is the 5 16 so the metric's a finer thread. That's what I thought was pretty cool about having both sets, is you can for sure determine this was a metric threaded bolt. Uh, absolutely think it's worth the money. Like I said, these stringers are 32 inches each. I thought about breaking them down because if you want to take this somewhere and actually try it in something, it gets to be kind of a hassle because all these are kind of hanging. But what I decided to do, and it'll probably take me a while to do, is just uh, assemble all the bolts. This is a 3 8 16 find a 3 8 16 nut. I'll get all this stocked up with a nut and a bolt on it. And uh, if I want to try it on something, say for example, this tap, instead of trying it on there, I can just try it in the tap, take it off, take it to your vehicle, take it to your bike, whatever, and not have to worry about fumbling with all this. Because I guarantee if I broke this all down and put it on key rings, the first thing I would do is lose one of these and be ticked off. But uh absolutely think it's uh, well worth the money. And I'm not going to fool nobody. I've just been educating myself on nuts and bolts the last few years. And uh was always really dumb to threading and all that stuff. And I'm not a machinist. I'm not even a guy pretending... Like I know what I'm doing. I'm just a guy to tell you that I bought these. I like them. If you would like something pretty cool, go ahead and buy them. Uh, they seem to help me a lot out a lot tremendously already. And uh, like anything else, it's just like you know looking at a, at a at a bolt head and knowing what size of wrench you need. You get to where you can kind of just by just by playing around with these. You can kind of tell coarse thread, fine thread from a mile away, but these are great to double check yourself. Kev with Kev's Can Cave, trying to give you good reviews on things I think will be decent in your toolbox, or in this case, hanging from your toolbox. But anyway, you good folks have a good one. Appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate all likes, comments, and subscribes. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.